Hello crafty friends, it's Donna here and I've got a set of three very loose, very relaxed watercolour cards for you today. Sometimes I'm in a grand place for very careful painting and sometimes I just want to splash the paint around. And so that's what we're going to do today. The starting point for these cards are three floral stamps, all from Paper Rose Studio. They are Orchid Bloom, Millie's Bouquet, and Spring Bloom. For each of these stamps, I'm going to use watercolour paper and a lot of water, and I'm going to heat emboss the floral images in white. I'm first just using a powder tool to make sure that no embossing ink sticks where I don't want it. I'm stamping the images a few times before I emboss them because this paper is very textured and then I'm adding white embossing powder before heat setting that. Once that's done I'm going to tape the watercolour paper down to my board. I don't want the paper to be too sticky so here's a little sneak peek of what I'm actually doing off camera before I use the tape. I'm just sticking it onto my leg to take off some of the tack. Next I'm going to lightly spray the paper with some water just to help the paint to move around. I've made each of these cards in two layers, starting with a pale background wash, which I'll put on and then let dry before coming back. What I'm trying to do is drop in light washes of colour that will roughly match the image that's on top. This reminds me a little bit of a Karate Kid sequence. Paint goes on, paint comes off. Paint goes on, paint comes off. When watercolour paints dry, they're always a much softer colour than when you first put them on. So you can afford to go a little darker than you think, but then the paint is much easier to layer on than it is to take off, which is why I'm in such a dilemma about putting the paint on and taking it back off again. There are several ways you can soften color if you think it's a little dark on the page. You can dab some off with some paper towel, or you can add some more water to the color, either with a paintbrush, like I'm doing now, or with a spray bottle. I'm going to use the same colors for my base layer and for my top layer. So if they're not dark enough to begin with, I can add them as I go. As far as this video goes, I'm going to show you one of the cards being made and then we'll jump to just a few little points on the other two before showing you close-up pictures of all three. Have a look and you can see right here just how much that layer of paint has faded. It really is very pale once it dries, even though it was alarmingly bright when I first put the paint on. I'm going to start layering the paint up now and can I highly recommend this as a way of getting to know your paints and of playing with them and seeing how they interact and how they dry and how they behave with different amounts of water because we're just playing and because we don't need to stay in the lines and we don't need to do anything more than suggest where the flowers are, it's a really great way to make friends with your watercolour paints in a non-threatening environment. If you're not happy with what's happening, you can pick it up with a paper towel and go again. If you're not happy with things at the end, you can flip your paper over and have another go on the other side. It's just a really nice way to play and relax. Paint goes on, paint comes off. Paint goes on, paint comes off. Nobody needs to see it if you don't like how it turned out. I think this is a really nice way to take the pressure off ourselves and remember that we do craft for enjoyment and not solely for a final product. You might notice that I'm working with two water jars. I rinse off first of all in the dirty water jar and then dip into the clean water. Most of the time I remember to do that, and most of the time I remember not to drink the paint water. Both very important. With each layer, my paint's getting darker, and I'm working closer to the centre of my flowers and leaves. I'm going to play some music now, so that you can sit back 
and enjoy just a little bit of sped up action as I finish off this card and then we'll move on to construction and also the other two stamps. With all the flower and leaf action, I felt like the yellow had got a little bit lost under there, and so I decided to add a little bit more back into the background. Once again, using the paint goes on, paint comes off technique. Once I'm happy with my colour, I'm just going in with a clean paintbrush and just re-wetting the paint that's sitting up on top of my embossing powder and then dabbing that off with a cloth. My brush for this job is very small and almost dry. It's amazing what a difference it makes to how clean the image looks. Finally, and definitely optional, unless you're me, is spatter. I'm echoing some of the colours from the image and I also often add white or black or in this case gold spatter. Once that's all dry I'll remove it from the board, cut it down to size and construct the card. All three of these cards have happy birthday sentiments from the Rainbow Poppy sentiment pack and a colour coordinated background. You've seen the process now, so I'm not going to show it all to you again. Here's the background, wet and then dry, from the next card. This one I did much looser and much bolder in the colours. When the colours were wet, I was really quite alarmed, but they dried back to something much less alarming. This time I went more is more with the spatter, and for the white spatter, I used a little white gouache mixed with water until it was very flickable. Final card folks, and you know what I did up until this point. The only thing that I did slightly differently was to stamp a sentiment as well. Rather than lining the whole sentiment up at once, I've stamped each part separately so that I can get them closer together. I always check onto my background graph paper to make sure that it's straight and that it's where I want in relation to the other parts of the stamp. I hope you've enjoyed these cards. I hope you're encouraged to get into your craft room and just play, whether it's with watercolour or paper or whatever you enjoy playing with. Feel free to like and to subscribe and I look forward to joining you again soon. Bye for now.